Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. Welcome back to another vlog. So today's vlog I'm kind of combining with week three of Get Thick the month. If you hadn't seen the first video of my little Get Thick with me June challenge thing, go check it out. It'll kind of explain everything, but I thought I'd kind of just mesh a weekly vlog together. That video is kind of like a weekly vlog as well. I'm just showing you guys my workouts, what I'm eating, and just we're chatting and stuff, so I thought I'd kind of combine them. If you haven't already, be sure to go follow me on Instagram. It's just at Vanessa to you. It's always linked down below. I post so many updates and stuff on there, just like daily updates, we chat, but also I love chatting with you guys down in the comments below, so be sure to leave a comment. I reply to every single one. Yeah, we're just gonna start right into this weekly vlog. It is first thing in the morning. We just got breakfast, and we're kind of just sitting outside relaxing right now. For breakfast this morning, I'm just having a bowl of fruit and Greek yogurt, and then there's some coconut kao nibs and other coconut on the top. As well as I'm just having a green juice with the teamy greens. I just added mango ginger and then water but i'm just gonna be working for a little bit out here just to start my morning off on a little bit of a productive note um i don't think too much is going on this week i think we're going to be doing some diys and stuff because we actually did some thrifting last week and we got a few pieces of things to kind of thrift flip so i think that's kind of the plan but otherwise not too much is going on getting really dark outside so we just came inside but it's lunchtime anyways so no biggie and I changed into my little green misguided crew neck I love this sweater but for lunch today I'm making this chicken gyro on non type of sandwich thing I don't know really what it's gonna be but then after lunch we're actually gonna do some DIYs we had some things that we picked up from the thrift store that we're doing a little bit of a thrift flip with so we're gonna do that after lunch which will be fun and I haven't ever sewn anything before, so we're gonna try this and see how it goes. But I just have some chicken breasts going in the oven. One is for today's lunch, and then one is for tomorrow's lunch, and we're gonna try and make these wrap gyro things. All right, so there's the chicken gyro all done, and I think I'm gonna probably have like some veggies or something with it too, like carrot, but then you just like fold it. This is gonna be difficult to do with one hand, but you fold it in half and then eat it kind of like a like a taco fajita type of thing. So I'll update you guys and let you know how this is, but it looks pretty good. All right, little update. It's really, really good. We really like it, and I will be making this type of gyro wrap thing again but I think I'll add a little bit more to it next time like something else I think some of them had like onions and stuff so maybe we'll try that so we got our sewing machine here this is the shirt that I'm making into a little two-piece set I thought it was this really pretty purple it's got a cute little embroider there so I got my elastic we're gonna try sewing and cutting it and making it a two-piece set and then we're also going to be hemming Alan's jeans. They're really nice Calvin Klein pair that we picked up at the thrift store. So this is the big oversized shirt before. I know it looks a little short, but because I'm making it like a cropped set, it should work okay. But this is the before.
doing a little kind of like midway update so the crop top is really cute like it, it turned out great but that's easy um the skirt not so much let me just show you guys so i'm in the middle of doing it but like it's too tight and too small and i might have to try this on another shirt but i can't do this i just didn't measure right and it's just it's not good but this is the end of today's sewing and we're gonna go make dinner now so we were quite literally up there for almost three hours trying to sew and stuff so i just threw salmon in the oven for dinner and then i'm making some brown rice and i'm gonna put on some broccoli as well okay, and then here's dinner salmon broccoli brown rice with just some salsa on top morning it is the next day so today is Thursday and it's my errand day so I'm about to just go out grab groceries and everything that I need for the week so that is kind of what is up right now so I'm all already ready for the day so I'll give you a little outfit of the day so I'm just wearing this little black t-shirt from Zara I was gonna wear a black like bra top but realized I didn't have any and then I'm also just wearing this little sweatshirt skirt from Aritzia last season um, probably one of my favorite skirts because it's like just sweatshirt material and so comfy but this is kind of my little look for today um, but we are heading out to go do our errands now grocery shopping and just things that we need to pick up for the week let's go running our errands and I just made lunch we had a bunch of leftovers so I kind of just threw a little something together it's kind of like I don't know honestly it's like a little stir-fry bowl but it's got rice black beans tilapia spinach red pepper tomatoes onions and then like some spices and stuff it smells good and normally if I just throw stuff together like this it tastes pretty good too so it's our little leftover lunch bowl All right, it's a little bit later in the day now. I was actually just making some phone calls and doing some admin stuff that needed to get done. I'm actually having a little snack right now, just this little Kashi granola bar. They're delicious. But my friend actually called me and let me know that course enrollment and stuff is starting to happen. So I thought you guys would be interested in seeing kind of how I plan out my schedule and plan out my courses. Course enrollment isn't for, I think, another two weeks but we can see all the time slots for things now. So I'm starting to like put my courses in this thing called an enrollment cart and kind of figure out my schedule, place things around. So far what I've been looking at is my fall semester is all online except for one course and then my winter semester seems to be all in person. So my school was really trying to do a little bit of a mix of both. They were trying to do as much in class as possible, but it seems right now that like second and third years kind of got the boot of you get online courses and first and fourth years kind of get the in-class courses for the fall semester which makes sense but yeah i thought i'd just kind of show you guys how i go about organizing everything because you guys like that kind of productivity stuff so i thought i'd kind of throw that in here a little bit for you guys also just because i've been working on it um this isn't really how i like schedule my year but more so like how i figure out ways to like 
place certain courses to make the most optimum schedule for myself. What I do is I actually go on my Google Calendar because I don't use my Google Calendar. So I use it for kind of mapping out because I like the big colored time blocks. I'll show you guys in a second. So the first thing that I do is I pull up kind of a random week. But what I do is I start by just clicking a time block where I know I won't have classes and writing fall 20, saving that. And then the next week I do the same thing, except it's winter 20 because I pick both my fall and winter semester courses at the same time. So then once I have that, the two weeks mapped out, what I do is I go through all of my courses and see which ones have time slots that there's only one time slot available. And I put those in and map those out and put a little star next to them so that I know that those can't be moved so that I can work the ones that have multiple time slots around those ones that don't. So for example, I know I have a bio course Mondays and Wednesdays. So I put that in, put the course number in, put a star beside it, and then I know that it's nine to 10 a.m., save that, and then I duplicate it so that it occurs on the Wednesday as well. And then I also will afterwards, once I get my actual schedule, I'll map it all out onto my actual, my phone calendar because I don't use this. This is just helping me figure out my actual schedule and where I want courses to be and like an example week. Once I have those down, then I kind of go in and map out anything else. And I also color code everything. So say I have a chem course here, it would be a different color, most likely green. And it's say two hours long. So every course has its own color. And then if a course can't be moved, I do a little star. And this kind of just helps me map out timing wise and where my schedule can go. So this is what I did last year as well when I mapped out my courses for first year. This year is a lot easier because two things, because lots of things are online. There's only like one time slot for a lot of things. And then second year courses are also smaller. So there's just less lecture sections anyways. So I have less variability in my schedule. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll show you guys kind of the final outlook afterwards and explain a little bit more. All right, so here's a little sneak peek into my WAC fall schedule that basically I can't change around because of just the way the online courses fall. The only in-class courses that I have this semester are the little blue ones up here that if you can see are 8 a.m. every day. So you already know my ass is gonna be waking up at 6 a.m. But this is just whack. So we tried to figure out fall semester, but it's just, it's not doing it. I might do some rearranging if I can. And then this is what my winter semester is looking like. It's a lot better because these are all in-class classes. So they're thinking by winter that we'll be in class. So this is what it's looking like right now. I try to always have one day off during the week or like mostly off. And this is kind of the best that I could do. I still have some decent, you know, time gaps and stuff. So this semester is a lot better and isn't as bad. And this is a full course load. So five courses, per semester. I really wish I could fix this, but honestly, that's it is what it is. So I might do some more configuring or something just to try and fix my fall schedule a little bit, but we're going to leave it for now. I'm going to take a little break from this and actually go do a workout. I'm doing a lower body leg day today. I'll do my workout now and after my workout, I always make sure I have a protein shake and I've been using the Teamy Wellness Protein. Been using this for a little bit now, I really like it. It's all natural, no sugar added. And I have a discount code down in the description box, but I always make sure I have a little protein shake after my workout.
don't understand why whenever I do food for someone else and I'm trying to make it look nice, the other person's always looks better. So this is the one I did for myself and this is the one that I did for Alan. Can we just look at the difference here? Look how pretty that one looks and this one, it's okay, but like this one's like spot on. Everything is kind of opening up in the GTA area now, like patios, malls, we're in phase two now in Ontario, which is great. So Alan and I thought we'd go out for like a late lunch, early dinner sort of situation today to kind of celebrate. Also, we haven't been out to dinner since like, I think Valentine's Day because we didn't go out after that and everything kind of closed down right after that. So yeah, but we're also gonna be shooting some Instagram content. So I have to pick an outfit, get ready, do my face and all that. I'm still in like, my comfy clothes so we're gonna pick an outfit it's really hot out today it's actually 28 degrees so i'm not quite sure yet what i want to wear like if i want to wear a skirt or shorts i know i'm gonna wear a tank top because it's like boiling out but i also gotta do my hair my makeup but yeah we gotta pick my outfit and stuff <laughs> All right, after about three or four outfit changes, finally did my makeup. This is the final look. You can see literally my other outfit changes over there. I haven't put them away because we have to go. But top from Urban Outfitters, this little skirt from Aritzia. I actually recently got this from their summer sale. But this is the look. All right, and to end off our little date, we got Sweet Jesus ice cream, and I've never had any before, but look at this. It's like, we got Red Rapture, so I think it's like Red Velvet Cheesecake. It's so good so far, it's delicious. That's kind of what we're ending our little lunch date off with. Hold up. Try and get you some ice cream too. a little self-care night Alan is playing cod with his friends so I'm just in my room watching some YouTube and it actually turned out that it's being a lot more of a busy week than I expected but that's okay I'm currently just watching some Liv Vargas on YouTube that is I don't know I just watch YouTube whenever I want to relax but I got my glass of water here I had some snacks earlier but now we don't have any so I just got water and my YouTube and yeah but like I was saying it's turning out to be a lot more of a busy week than I expected my mom called me earlier and asked me if I wanted to go strawberry picking tomorrow so that is what we are doing tomorrow I already kind of like figured out my outfit and figured out everything for that so first thing in the morning we are heading and going strawberry picking so and I haven't been since I think I was like 10 or 11 like really really little and we have some really close strawberry fields to my parents house but yeah otherwise i'm just kind of relaxing tonight like i said having a little self-care night i think it's so important to always have you know self-care nights and stuff some of you guys were asking for some self-care tips honestly just take some time for yourself like i love taking time at night doing my skincare doing face masks watching youtube going on pinterest literally just doing absolutely nothing but being a brain dead zombie and that's okay sometimes um but yeah that's kind of what is up right now so i'm just gonna chill for a little bit and then call it a night because i got an early morning tomorrow my mom's picking me up early because it's a bit of a drive
finished strawberry picking. It was actually a lot of fun and I haven't been since I was probably like, we were saying, probably 10 or 11, like really little. It was a lot of fun, it was really cute and I'm glad we got to go. We ended up picking three baskets full. So one for me and Alan and one for my mom and then one for my grandma as well because she does stuff with strawberries makes, I don't know, what, what does she make with the strawberries? Like, just freezes them. She just freezes them. Yeah, but we're just heading home now and then I'm spending the rest of the day up at my parents' house. All right, so we just got home from my parents' house now. So I'm gonna sign off from the vlog because it's a little late. We're kind of just gonna eat dinner and then chill for the rest of the night and I'm gonna end off the vlog here. In case you guys were curious, these are all the strawberries that I got for myself. So I got this one basket here and then I'm gonna be like freezing them separately. I'm gonna wash them and cut them all and then freeze them like individually so they don't stick together. And that's kind of what we're gonna do with those. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Always, my Instagram is linked down below. And again, I love chatting with you guys in the comments. So if you leave a comment down below, I'd love to reply to you and chat in the comments. But I hope to see you in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.